Hey guys, how's it going? Preparing here. So in this video, I'm going to go over the uh, life gaining stats in Diablo 3. So the two primary ones are life steal and life on hit. Now life steal is in the game in Diablo 2, but it works differently. And life on hit is an entirely new stat. So this is how it works. First of all, life steal, it looks great. They both look very simple stats. I mean, I do damage, 3% life steal, I gain 3% of damage I dealt. It doesn't work that way. Um, it does in normal. However, when you hit Nightmare, that amount is reduced by 30%. In Hell, it's reduced by 60%. And in Inferno, it's reduced by 80%. In Diablo 2, it was reduced based on the mob that you were attacking. But in Diablo 3, it's reduced based on the difficulty level. So, uh, most people are probably doing Inferno by now. And minus 80% is really the value that you're dealing with. Uh, that value makes Lifesteal uh, a pretty bad stat. So instead of, uh, instead of 3%, you get a much lower value. However, with life on hit, life on hit does not diminish based on difficulty level. It diminishes based on the attack that you're using. Each attack has a modifier on your life on hit, which would give you your, your end result when you, actually use the uh, when you actually use the attack. For instance, uh, Frenzy, Frenzy has an 80% modifier. So if you had 1,000 life on hit, and you're smashing something with Frenzy, every time you hit him with Frenzy, you're gaining back 800 life. You also have to keep in mind that uh, different runes for different skills can actually change this modifier. And certain skills are significantly better than others when it comes to, uh, when it comes to the scaling of life on hit. For instance, uh, things like, like uh, I don't know, let's say Cleave. Cleave has a much lower modifier than, than Frenzy. However, if there's like four or five targets, obviously you'd be gaining you'd be gaining more life on hit. But when you're gaining an ability like cleave on a barb, you need to keep in mind that you're gonna be struggling to keep up your hit points when you're on a single target. Now, how do these two compare? Well, life on hit scales based on your ability, so you have control over it. It's better with a faster weapon, and it's better with certain, certain skills. Typically, hasted skills benefit a lot, like frenzy, and let's say for a monk, uh, the lightning punch. But how do they really compare? Well, I'll do a comparison for you guys. You know, if, if you're gaining, you see, I have a weapon 847 life on hit. If I'm attacking with Frenzy, I'm gaining 678 life on hit. How much damage would I actually have to do in Inferno per hit to equate that to 3% lifesteal? Because keep in mind, 3% lifesteal is the most you can actually have on a weapon. You know, 847 is actually not even the most. And that, we're talking about single stats. The answer is 113k per attack to equate 847 life on hit to 3% lifestyle in Inferno. That's about five times the amount of damage that I do on my barb. So keep that in mind. When it comes to lifesteal, it can be pretty dismal. Life on hit is where it's at in my opinion. See you guys next time.